Hello, my name is Misty Tobin, and I'm doing a presentation today on Cynthia Cooper at Worldcom. Cynthia Cooper and her team of auditors were instrumental in revealing accounting fraud committed by Worldcom. They were directed by their supervisors on more than one occasion to stop investigating, but they refused to comply. The Institute of Management Accountants, in their Statement of Ethical Professional Practice, sets forth principles, standards, and steps to resolve issues. I believe Cynthia Cooper followed these closely during her time investigating WorldCom's accounting entries. The IMA principles, they mentioned four. The first is honesty. Ms. Cooper and her team were honest, even when questioned about their activities. The next is fairness. They asked several levels of leadership to explain reasons or justify those accounting entries before they pursued further action. Objectivity. They understood what was at stake for them personally, as well as for their colleagues, but they stayed their course and kept investigating. Responsibility. They saw it as their responsibility to discover information behind these questionable entries as part of the internal accounting team at WorldCom. Even though this wasn't part of their standard duties, they still felt that this was their responsibility. The IMA standards, there are also four. The first is competence. Ms. Cooper and her team followed laws and regulations in a professional manner, and they provided decision support for the new outside auditors and the board of directors audit committee. Confidentiality. They did not tell anyone details that didn't, they didn't need to know, including their family and close friends, until after these things were made public. It mentions in the article Ms. Cooper was quite close with her family, but she did not give them details until the investigation had begun by the federal uh, investigators. Integrity. They avoided conflicts of interest, and they placed the integrity of their profession above their personal interests. Credibility. They communicated the information accurately and as timely as possible to those that needed to know. For resolving issues, the IMA sets forth a four-step process. The first step is to talk to your immediate supervisor. Cynthia confronted her immediate supervisor, Mr. Sullivan, in front of his audit committee about Mr. Stupka's funding. He essentially told her it wasn't any of her business. Outside help. Ms. Cooper sought outside help from external auditors. She found no sympathy from Mr. Avery with Arthur Anderson. She eventually turned to the audit committee for the board of directors and to the new audit company for help that way. Legal consult. The case study doesn't mention any legal consultation. This might be the only spot where Cynthia didn't really follow the IMA directives. Disassociation. Their entire team was allowed to remain with WorldCom longer than any many of their employees. But if their situation had progressed differently, they may have been required to resign or they may have been fired. In conclusion, I believe Ms. Cooper and her team made their best efforts to follow the advice of the IMA that they outlined in their SEPP. Thank you.